My name's Phil, Phil Wilson Home. Um, I live in Manchester, work in Manchester, and I am a mostly front end developer working with primarily Drupal websites. The first time I used Drupal was at university in around, I guess, 2009. Um, our student media magazine had gone under basically because no one was paying adverts in it. So they were looking to switch an online model, uh, and I volunteered to run the website naively and eventually stumbled upon using Drupal for that. So the, the university Drupal usage, that was the side project thing. The first time I commercially used it was for a small charity where it was basically just me. So by small team it was an individual, uh, whereas now I work at CTI, a much larger team. Um, yeah, there's differences. Um, you, you learn a lot more from other people, um, but also you don't have the freedom to do things exactly as you want, which is probably a good thing. Um, in fact, it's definitely a good thing. But um, yeah, working by yourself is always interesting because you can often end up in going in different directions than you're expecting because it's purely you steering the ship. Yeah, I've done a few, um, mostly at NW Lurk here. Um, I really like doing lightning talks, so every year NW Doug does um, some lightning talks in the summer and it's a really sort of um, low barrier to entry, low stress way to get up and speak in front of people, get a bit more practice and um, see what audiences are interested in. And I've spoken about um, mainly two topics, accessibility and performance of websites. Okay. Um, hopefully a sort of introduction to a topic which they might not know a huge amount about. Um, the sort of talks I, I do, they're not um, breaking new ground or they're not sort of diving deep into a topic, but they're a good overview which is uh, hopefully helpful to people who sort of have heard a few terms but don't necessarily know what they mean. The JavaScript changes in Drupal. Um, so, so Drupal has always lagged a little bit behind um, when it comes to JavaScript because it has to aim to be usable by so many people and we don't want to introduce complicated build stages or things like that. Um, but from working on purely JavaScript projects uh, you start to appreciate the sort of the gap that's developing between Drupal and things that are say built in Vue or React or Angular. So it's really interesting to see what the, the JavaScript team are doing with regards to using React in the admin interfaces. Um, and I think it's going to be really useful and exciting to follow what's happening there. And it's, it's quite a big, it's a big step away from the jQuery based way of doing things, which is historically the route Drupal's taken. Um, so rather than have the document object model represent the source of truth, you now store the source of truth as, a, as data and that influences the DOM. So it's, it's um, it's a sort of a cleaner and a more modern way of doing things than doing everything in jQuery, which is why I'm excited to see Drupal bring more of that in. I think the stuff I've read is more about the administration interface. So it's perhaps less about appealing to, to customers or end users. It's, it's more making it nicer for the CMS users. So it's meaning that when people want to create a new taxonomy term or a new user, there's fewer page refreshes involved and they feel like they're using like Google Inbox or Gmail rather than something that refreshes all the time. Um, but undoubtedly, once the back end is cleaned up or uh, in tandem with that, there'll be front end improvements as well, which will benefit our users and make things feel more like appy, which is apparently always the goal. <laughs> um. I think going to, to events and meetups is, is hugely important, so there's definitely, there should be a strong driver for people to do that. If they're not comfortable with going, uh, one option would be for them to sort of join in the discussion electronically beforehand, so if, if their meetup group has a Slack channel or a mailing list or an IRC thing, uh, if they jump in there and then from the safety of their whatever environment they're comfortable in via the chat channel, um, they can introduce themselves, ask some questions, uh, ask whatever it takes to make themselves hopefully be excited enough and comfortable enough to come and attend an event in, uh, in reality. So
Right, so this is my first sprint. Um, despite having worked with Drupal for quite a few years, it's the first time I've done one. Um, it's, it's been really fun. Um, beforehand, the organisers will typically search through the Drupal.org issue queues and they'll find issues which are um, of varying complexity for varying experience levels and they'll tag them up, which means that during the sprint it's easy to see which things are appropriate to work on. Um, and then you'll pick something that interests you uh, and hopefully work through it, um, look at the issue, comment, see what needs to do in, and hopefully propose a patch. Um, so the idea is that uh, a big block of tickets get worked on simultaneously by people in the same room who can help each other. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I've been working on two accessibility issues. I've been able to go over and speak to Andrew, who's the accessibility maintainer. So it's been really useful having people in the same room. And it also it feels nice um, having everyone have a sort of shared purpose and in the same space as well.